Hello and welcome to section 5, score-based algorithms, the Bayesian score. The Bayesian approach is to consider a distribution over uncertainties. What are our uncertainties when learning a structure? Well, it's the structure G and its parameters theta G. So we consider the structure prior, P of G, as well as the parameter priors of a given structure G, P of theta of G, condition on G. Now, if I use the Bayes rule, the probability of a graph G given D can be written in this form. This is quite similar to what we did in the parameter learning chapter. Now, according to this, I can define my Bayesian score, which is as follows. It's log of P of D condition on G plus log of P of G. It's taking the log of this term, just that I'm ignoring P of D because this does not depend on the structure and it's excluded. Okay, now P of G is clear, it's the structure prior, I can take it as uniform, I can put a higher probability on some structures, but what about this one? This is the marginal likelihood of the data given the structure. Why is it marginal? Well, I'm marginalizing out the parameters. It's P of D condition on G, it's when I'm marginalizing the parameters theta G, and because I already have G here, then the term that will be multiplied will not be P of th theta of G, it will be P of theta of G condition on G. Okay, This will be the focus of this section, the marginal over the parameters theta G likelihood. What can we say about this marginal likelihood? Well, recall that the maximum likelihood score, it returned the maximum of the likelihood function, which is here. The marginal likelihood is the average of the likelihood function, which is here, where we average based on the prior measure P of theta G condition on G. So the sensitivity of the maximum likelihood to the particular choice of parameters in the likelihood score is more than that of the marginal likelihood. Okay, Because this is averaging out over different values. Therefore, overfitting with Bayesian score is less than with the likelihood score. Okay, recall from parameter learning, the beta and Richelieu distributions, the beta prior has two hyperparameters, theta following beta alpha 1, alpha 0. The PDF will be a normalizing constant times theta to the power of alpha 1 minus 1 times 1 minus theta alpha 0 minus 1. And the Dirichlet distribution is just a generalization of this. It will be the Dirichlet of hyperparameters alpha 1 to alpha k, and we will have the multiplication of theta k's to the power of alpha k minus 1. Okay, now let's see it in the coin toss problem. Consider the coin toss problem with prior distribution beta, the maximum likelihood, we already have seen this, for a data set of x1 to xn, this is nothing but the theta, like theta to the power of nh, number of times we have he heads, and 1 minus theta to the power of times we have tail. And because it's the maximum likelihood estimate, then we will just replace theta with nh divided by n. So this is the formula that we have. What about the marginal likelihood? Will we get the same neat compact formula? Let's see. Well, in this case, since there is no structure G, it will be basically P of D, right? So usually in the Bayesian network, I need to look into P of D condition on G. If you recall here, I don't have any G, so it will be just P of, uh, P of D. And this is basically the probability of all of the instances. And I can write this down in this form using the chain rule. P of xn condition on the previous ones, P of xn minus 1 condition on the previous ones, and all the way to P of x1. Recall from parameter learning, again, that this term and the similar ones, P of xt equal to something condition on the previous ones, this is basically the posterior predictive distribution, which we saw that under the Dirichlet distribution, for example, it equals to the posterior mean. So if I define nt of h to be the number of heads in the first t instances, then from the parameter learning, we can write down this term as alpha 1, the beta parameter here, 
plus the number of times that head appeared minus one uh, divided by alpha the summation of these two plus t minus one okay and similarly for p of x t equal to t now using this let's see an example with five instances the joint probability distribution will be written in this form if i start from p of x one and using the formula i will have alpha zero the probability of tail in the denominator just to remind you here and plus the number of times in the previous instances that something happened that is basically zero this is because it's just the first instance divided by alpha for the next instance i will have alpha one because it's head how many times head appeared in the previous instances it's zero and divided by alpha plus t minus one it's uh, the second instance so it will be one and so on with the other variables so i will have it in this form now if i rearrange them so that all the alpha ones appear here all the alpha zeros appear here i can use the gamma function to write it in this way now to explain how first a recall on the gamma function it's this integral we don't need to dive into the integral just know that for a positive integer n this is simply n minus one factorial and more generally we have this nice fun nice property that gamma of x plus one is equal to x times gamma of x and this allows us to write this multiplications of alpha alpha plus n all, all the way to alpha plus one times alpha as this division gamma of alpha plus n plus one so i have n here n alpha plus n plus one divided by gamma of alpha Okay, now that's how we turn this multiplication into this form. So the denominator is basically gamma of alpha plus 5, 4 plus 1, divided by al gamma of alpha, and then the, it should be inverted. And the denominator, this part is this, and this part is this one. So more generally, uh, for the beta prior, the marginal likelihood equals this form okay and if we have the Dirichlet prior with the hyperparameters alpha 1 to alpha k with uh, some variable x x1 to xk with the multinomial distribution then this is what i will get so it's basically the multiplications of the gammas of alpha k plus the number of times that xk appears divided by the gamma of alpha k so this stands for these two terms the multiplication and here i will have just the same term inverted and summed over all possibilities great now how does the Bayesian score look like for uh, for a structure G so far we were just talking about the coin toss problem it helps if we have the global and local parameter independencies so again a recall consider a Bayesian network with parameters theta this is the family parameters theta of x1 condition on parents of x1 all possibilities okay now we say that the prior p of theta is, sa is said to satisfy global pr parameter independence if it can be written in this form so if i can write this the p of this vector into these multiplications then we say that it, it satisfies the global independence local parameter independence that focuses on each of these terms if i can write the probability of each of these terms as the multiplication of theta of x condition on the different possibilities for its parents then i say it also is locally independent great now i have this proposition given the parameter prior p of theta g condition on g for the structure g which satisfies both local and global parameter independence then i can calculate the marginal likelihood in this form i equal to one to n is for the variables here i have over the parents of xi for each xi here i changes and then i have the integral term okay so i was able to take the, this multiplication over the parents out of this and here it says over all t this multiplication over all of the instances but only those parents that match this one and this will be the 
probability of x like the data instance condition on the parents and theta this is the prior and this is the whole integral okay it looks scary i agree but here's the nice thing if i have uh, Drishley prior then the marginal likelihood for bayesian network will be simpler okay so here i have the Drishley for theta of xi condition on parents of xi this is basically our term here if this also follows a Drishley distribution then given the data sets d of uh, instances 1 to n the marginal likelihood will be in this form all the val variables appearing here here i have over, over the parents the different values that the parents of xi can take here is over the different values of x like in particular xi here and here it's the alpha plus the number of times it appears and here's the summation over all of its values let's see it in practice we want to calculate the Bayesian score for the mass COVID structure and recall that the score B the Bayesian score is the log of the marginal likelihood plus the log of PG so let's uh, if, if we assume a uniform distribution for the prior we don't mm, prioritize any of the dis any of the structures then we don't care about this term this will not matter in the comparisons so let's just focus on this term and the marginal likelihood okay how to calculate this well let's assume a Drishlade prior and these are the hyperparameters okay and I need to follow the formula that I just provided. So I need to calculate these terms. And I will have the gamma of alpha m over all pos possibilities for m. Just note that this is over all the values. Here I just have two of them, i equal to 1 and 2. So here I will have for, for my mask, this is the form. And I can replace them. So I will first expand it. So over the values of alpha and here I have n of m equal to 1, n of m equal to 0 color coded so I will have 4 of these, 8 of these and these are I will just replace from the hyperparameters and if I replace all of that do the math here is the final value and similarly I can calculate the term for COVID it will be just a little bit more complicated because it's conditional but we have them color coded here so I can just replace all the values and this is the final value that I get so I can calculate the marginal likelihood it will be this number here now recall that uh, we had it from the previous sections that the marginal likelihood for this structure was minus 18.6 that was the log of the maximum of the likelihood here we have the log of the marginal likelihood average over all theta this was for the MLE theta and you see that the score L is greater than the log of the marginal likelihood which is obviously true because uh, we we know that this is over the maximum this is for the maximum value of the probability whereas this one is the average great to summarize we already saw the likelihood score here we saw that uh, here we saw the Bayesian score and the Bayesian score unlike the likelihood score does not it, it tends to less overfit so here for example this one had the highest Bayesian score and we chose this one are there other scores we will see that in the next